100 wonder kids one video if you don't find the wonder kid that you want to sign in fm24 in today's video then i give up <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a video where today I'm going to bring you my top 100 wonder kids in FM24. That's a lot. I hear you saying it is a lot, but don't worry. We're going to fly through these quite quickly, bringing them to you quick fire, and then you guys can go and check them out in your saves. We will be stopping every now and then for my favorite wonder kids, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail, maybe looking at how they develop in five or 10 years time as well. I'm hoping though, that by bringing you just loads of them, there's going to be at least one or two that you want to go and sign in your saves. And this can be a bit of an ultimate list. We've scoured the globe. There are some pretty obscure ones. There's some fairly obvious ones as well, obviously. I've also created a short list which you can load into your games. That short list will be available on my Patreon page, the Claytreon, to give it its correct name. I suppose, though, should we get into it? Actually, wait, I'm sorry. Just to say before we do get into this quick fire 100 list, I just want to say thank you for everyone who has subscribed recently and to plead with you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We're aiming for 60,000 subscribers and we're not that far away and it would be really cool to hit. If you are already subscribed, thank you again, but make sure you like the video because it does push the video out for a wider audience and that's what we're all about here, isn't it? Thank you for that. Let's get into this top 100 list then by looking first of all at the goalkeepers. All right then, so here is the short list. And as I mentioned, we're going to start with the goalkeepers first of all. We can actually filter this by goalkeepers here. And here are the 10 goalkeepers that I have selected for my Wonder Kids list for FM24. So to go through them, let's start from the top here. We have Jonas Erbig from Greuther Firth. He is 19 at the start of the game. He's playing in the second division in Germany. And he looks like he's got a lot of potential. Next up, Plamen Andreev playing for Levski Sofia in the Bulgarian First League, which presents a bit of a bargain opportunity. The next one is Dennis Simon. I, I'm assured it's Simon and not Seaman, but it could be. I'm not sure. He was a brilliant one, the kid goalkeeper on last year's game, and he's pretty good this year. Starts off the game at 17 years old. Next up, a youth player. The first one that is 16 or younger. It's Franco Jarozovic. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, or at least close. He is a goalkeeper that plays for River Plate in Argentina, 16 years old. Next one, Lucas Chevalier. Looks like he could have been my pick for my favourite goalkeeper. I've gone for a different one because he was 21, so he's not quite as young, but he turns into an absolute worldie, does Chevalier, at Lille in Ligue 1. Next up, Rome, Jaden Awuso aduro who is a Dutch goalkeeper for AZ Alkmaar. Tommaso Martinelli for Fiorentina is 17 at the start of the game. Gabriel, Solin Gabriel Solanina, who's on loan from Chelsea, might be a little bit more difficult to pick up. Philippe Jorgensen from Villarreal, another 21-year-old, but he does turn into a world beater. I feel like you can get away with including slightly older goalkeepers when it comes to Wonder Kids because goalkeepers, they peak a little bit later on in their careers, don't they? He's a great option for your goalkeeper, Philippe Jorgensen. But the player that I want to focus on is this man here. He is my choice of all of the goalkeepers. Guillaume Restes, who plays for Toulouse at the beginning of the game. He's six foot two, and he's a pretty complete goalkeeper, even at the very beginning of the game. Toulouse not being one of the best teams in France means that I think you'll be able to pick him up. Six foot two, great determination means he's going to develop as well. Not the six foot two, but the determination part of it. He will end up, I'm sure, being France's first choice goalkeeper, at least he'll be in competition with Chevalier, who we looked at before. He's my choice of the goalkeepers. And this is what he might turn out like later on in your saves. I've gone about 10 years into the future here. And as you can see, he definitely develops. He ends up being Arsenal's first choice goalkeeper on wages of £375,000 per week. I think this is pretty good evidence that he can turn into a really good goalkeeper. Also, bear in mind the fact with all of the players that we look at in the future, none of them have been under the care of an actual human manager. I feel like a player will always develop better with you as the manager and playing them. These have had the AI and sometimes they get neglected and not played or maybe that league wasn't loaded in and being used properly. There's a few tweaks with the way that that works in this year's game. So... They could actually get even better than this is sort of the point that I'm making. Restes, though, even with that in mind, turns into a brilliant goalkeeper. Look at all these green attributes, the one-on-ones, the reflexes, the leadership is there as well, composure, concentrate. I mean, he's just brilliant, isn't he? He's got 58 caps for France, so he does become that first choice goalkeeper for the national team, as we mentioned before. 28 years old, 10 years into the future, and what a player. £70 million Arsenal paid for him, so he's my first 
choice wonder kid. Go and sign him if you want a goalkeeper. Let's move through to some defenders. And into the defenders we go then. You may be wondering how I've split this list up. I've sort of done it like this. I've done 10 goalkeepers, 30 defenders, 30 midfielders, 30 attackers. Obviously, they will be overlapping slightly. So in my shortlist currently, there's 29 defenders. That's because one of them is listed as a midfielder, but I'd probably use them as a defender. Obviously, this is going to happen. But just so you know, it's about 30 for each of the outfield positions on the pitch. 29 defenders to look at here then, some of which we will look at in five or 10 years or so in the future, just so you can get an idea. They are my selected ones, but let's start going through. Andres Alfonso is first of all playing in Ecuador, a really good right back or left back, naturally right back. Arnau Martinez from Girona in the Spanish first division. Sanusi Bar from Lask. Uh, Juniel Belosian from Rennes, a uh, centre-back, 18 years old. Baroldo playing for Sao Paulo. Al Shadal Bichuabi from Leipzig. Andre Borza playing for Rapid in the Romanian top division. Another one from Argentina in Sebastian Bosselli. Zeno Zabast from Anderlecht, 19 years old. Amar Dedic, who can play both sides, by the way. I really like this as part of it. He's right footed, but will play inverted on the left hand side. So if you want to use those inverted wing backs, inverted fullback roles, he's one to look out for. Usman Diamande could have been one of my selected defenders because he is such a beast. His potential ability is a little bit lower, but he's already such a good player to start with playing for Sporting here. Look, he's very me as a centre back, six foot three, Usman Diamande. Patrick Dorgo from Lecce, João Fonseca from Benfica, Gerald Hato from Ajax, really high potential on him this year. Elias Jellert from Copenhagen in Denmark, Kazimkan Karatash from Galatasaray, Rico Lewis, probably an obvious one from Manchester City, Jaquil Marshall Rutty, who plays, I mean, plays everywhere, if you have a look at him. He's a 19-year-old Canadian. Leopold Querfeld from Rapid Vienna in Austria, Chadi Riyad from Betis, Robert Renan, I really like him from Zenit St. Petersburg, Brazilian centre-back. Giorgio Scalvini was absolutely amazing last year and is starting for Atalanta, so maybe an obvious one. Leo Shaha from Newcastle, 16 years old, so a young one on our list here. And finally, Luka Vuskovic. Now, so now to my ones that I have selected in the future. Let's go and see them in 10 years' time. Okay, of my selected defenders then, I think the first of which is maybe the most signed player so far in FM24, it's Valentin Barco. I'm going to say, I'm going to give myself all the credit on this one. I signed him last year in the Newcastle beta save that we did, and I've already signed him in this year's beta save as well. But Valentin Barco is tearing it up for Boca Juniors in real life at such a young age, 16, 17 at the start of the game, and he turns into an unbelievable left back. A player that can play left wing, left midfield as well if you want him to. At 29 here, look, he's playing for Atletico Madrid and already valued between 57 and 170 million. He's on nearly 300,000 pounds per week as well. That determination of 20, I mean, just an unbelievable left back, isn't he? He's the first of my highlighted defenders. The next one, to go to the other side for right back, I would suggest Michael Coyote, who starts the game as a 19 year old at Fiorentina and turns into this type of defender, an elite fullback in pretty much every sense of the word. Look, look at those physicals. If you want him on the right hand side and then Barco on the left, imagine how good your defense is going to be. Again, he's on £250,000 there or thereabouts in uh, 2034 here. It just goes to show what he can turn into. Imagine him actually, that Italian team with him at right back and a doggy at left back. Some uh, some wing backs that the Italian team have got there. He's got 55 caps for them. Let's have a look at centre backs now then. And I've picked out three. The first of which is this man here, Lenny Euro, who ends up in 10 years time in this save file at Liverpool. He starts the game as a 17 year old at Lille, meaning at that young age, you can really pick him up. I think he can develop more than this because this again, just to keep saying it, this is the AI developing them. If they're in your teams, they can turn out even better. But have a look at what a beast he turns into. Six foot three, very me in terms of a defender. He's so young to start with as well. French, I think you've got a really good centre-back to look for there. And his name's Lenny, which if you know, you know. My other two options are this man to start with, Bastien Mopio, who starts the game at Nantes in France, 17 years old. Ten years later, look, he's playing for Troyes here. Hasn't developed as much as you might expect him to, but he's actually got really high potential. I think if you bring him in, you can turn him into an even better defender than this. I wanted to include him because he's left-sided. So imagine him on the left and then Lenny Euro on the right-hand side. You've got two French defenders for your entire save there. He's actually wanted by some decent teams at the moment here at 27 years old. Definitely one that you could get for maybe a little bit cheaper 
and turn into a really good defender rather than pairing him with Euro. Perhaps with this man here, who I wanted to include because I think he's really intriguing. It's Dean Heysen, who starts the game at Juventus as a 17-year-old, 18-year-old. He's got quite a low current ability, but a humongous potential ability, which I think means you can get a, a bargain and then develop him really into a better defender than this. This is him as at 28, where he's not, I don't, I mean, I, if I was to guess, it's probably got a current ability of about 130, 140, if that. But imagine you could develop him to his potential, which is about 170 PA. He's six foot five. He could be, he could be unbelievable. And I think he's a cheap option, which is why I've chosen him. In this save here, he's definitely not reached his potential, but he could do with you. Those are my defenders. If we look at some midfielders. And so then our midfielders, let's start at the top of the list. Arda Gula is once again good in this year's game. Starts at Real Madrid though, which is maybe a negative on this because he becomes harder to go and get, doesn't he? Next up, Tommaso Boldanzi. Looks really, really good. Elias Ben Seguir from Monaco is an option. Lucas Bergval coming in from the Swedish league at 17 years old. I, I know that you will appreciate these obscure ones, so he's definitely one to look out for. Mark Bernal. Faris Chaibi from Frankfurt, Noah Darvish from Barcelona, Desiree Douai, one that really could have made my list of focus midfielders because I really, really like him, turns into such a well-rounded midfielder, starts at Ren at 18 years old. Claudio Echeverri from River Plate in Argentina, Gabriel Moscardo linked with some moves to the Premier League in the summer, Chelsea being really interested in him. He plays for Corinthians at 17 years old. Oscar Gluck was great last year, is once again great this year. Archie Gray, Leeds fans, I'm sure you'll be excited about him. 17 years old with a decent value to start the game as well in the championship. Javi Guerra from Valencia. Keenan Yildiz at Juventus, 18 years old Turkish youngster. Shay Lacey at Manchester United. Tygo Land at PSV, lots of people talking about him already this year. Hugo Larsson from Eintracht Frankfurt, Luca Lipani at Sassuolo, Oliver Lukic at Salzburg, 16 years old with loads of potential on him, Simeone Pafundi at Udinese, Matteo Prati at Cagliari, Luca Sucic was great last year, is again great this year, 20 years old to a little bit older, Leslie Ugachukwu at Chelsea, they signed him in the summer from, I think it was from Strasbourg, is a real, real option this year, 19 years old, Lauren Ulrich at Stuttgart, and then finally, Warren Zare Emery at PSG. Again, he was great last year and is already starting and playing games for PSG in uh, in Liga 1 this year. A really great midfielder. Those are my midfielders, but there are one or two that I've selected as my focus ones because I think they're my favourite. Let's have a look at those in 10 years' time. And those focus midfielders are as follows. I've picked out five of them, which I think are my favourites. We'll start with, at the stop, Zhao Neves. A lot of talk already about this guy. He starts the game at Benfica and is already... So, so good at the start of the game. He can go on to become a midfielder a little bit like this. He's 29 now, 10 years or so in the future. He's had a career that has taken him from Benfica to Liverpool for £56 million, which goes to show how good he is. Then he's moved on to Juventus since then and is looking like the real deal. Just so well-rounded. There's no attributes here less than 10, which just goes to show you can kind of get him to do whatever you want. And then there's some really nice green ones in there too. Maybe a little bit more defense with some of these, like the aggression and the bravery, the concentration, the work rates there. He's not slow either with the pace. I mean, he's just already an unbelievably good young midfielder. Jao Neves to start. And in fact, I'm going to go across from him to another Portuguese youngster. You could pair him if you wanted to have a Portuguese theme to your midfielder with Jao Veloso, who I'm particularly impressed with because his personality is model citizen. And I mean, what a player he becomes. 28 years old now. He's playing for Bayern Munich. Again, always remember, you can probably develop these even more than you're seeing in this save here because if you're the manager, you can be playing them week in, week out, etc. They won't have seasons like this one where he only plays two games or only plays seven games for Bayern Munich. He did go on to become a starter though, or a, at least a regular, not a starter. So again, you can become a better to play than this but at Barcelona Jao Veloso looks like the real deal for me at 28 um get him at the start of the game he starts the game again at Benfica so much talent there isn't there into my last few then Asan Adrego was great last year is even better this year I mean look at this for a beast of a midfield a midfielder six foot four and sometimes at the start of the game, you can notice that he'll be transfer listed because Schalke have all sorts of money problems in the game at the very beginning. He can go on to become this type of midfielder, though. £375,000 per week. He has gone to Inter via Liverpool. They seem to be signing him a lot of the time. He's linked with them in real life, isn't he? As a Liverpool fan, I'm very aware of that. Doesn't play loads of games for them in this save, but then goes to Inter. And I mean, 
He should be playing games because look how good he actually looks here. A Drago is the third one. And then there's two more. The first is another one that loads of people are asking me about. It's very house set Nipan. He ends up here at Brighton. He starts the game at Rosenborg. And you can pick him up so cheap because the Norwegian League is quite cheap to pick players up from, isn't it? He goes to PSG for 2.3 million. They sell him to Brighton for 11.5. I think you can see him become even better than this, potentially in your saves. He's well-rounded, does, hasn't turned into a world-class player here. I'm sure that you could develop him into one. Sverre Halset Nipan is, I think, one of the go-tos for this year. And then finally, somebody that may be up there to rival players such as Lamine Yamal and Endrick in terms of being the best wonder kid on the game. It's Kendry Paez. He plays for Chelsea. He's signed for Chelsea in real life. And just have a look at how he turns out. He starts the game so young, 16 years old. He's now 26. He came from Independe, Independiente del Valle, which is where Caicedo came from. And they produce so many good players. If you actually go to their page here, they've produced Incapier. They've got Alan Franco on there, Caicedo, obviously, and then Paez too. What a breeding ground for young players this is and what a player he becomes. Maybe using him a little bit further forward as an attacker rather than in central midfield, but I've included him in our midfielders because he is natural there as well. Here at Chelsea, he's had a couple, he's had one loan to Sevilla, oh, two loans actually, PSG and Sevilla, but has played quite a lot of games for Chelsea now at 26 years old. He makes my list. Let's move through to the most exciting of positions the attackers and finally then into the forwards as i've categorized them this includes some attacking wingers and obviously strikers as well obviously these will overlap i'm going to say that again but overall there is 100 players on our list here starting with bradley barcola who plays for psg very difficult to go and get but turns into such a good striker that i wanted to include him in this list obviously at psg going to be difficult to sign next up a classic fm one the kid rooney bargy has been in the game for a few years now and always turns out great this year i think maybe not quite as good as in the past and previously but still a really good player and still at copenhagen so you can go and get him maximilian Bayer at hoffenheim is a good player too badradin buonani is a right winger at nice 18 years old santiago castro classic wonder kid name that at velez a striker or can play on the left hand side 18 ben doke turns out brilliantly in fm24 at liverpool Paul, of course, the Scotsman, the young Scotsman, I should say. Geronimo Domina at Union in Argentina, a great young striker, 17 years old. Jamie Donnelly, Northern Irish, Tottenham Hotspur, 18 years old. Endrick, I had to include him. I know that you know about him already, but 16 years old, he's definitely a wonder kid that we need to include. Just actually, as we talk about Endrick here, you'll notice that some obvious players and some of the biggest, more established players I've not included in our wonder kid list. Players like Jude Bellingham and Gavi, Pedri, for example, could easily be in our top 100 wonder kids, but we all know who they are and they're already starting and playing for teams like Barcelona. So I've left them out of this particular list. But before you come for me in the comments down below, obviously they're really good and really expensive. Let's continue. Stanis Idumbo Mazambo at Ajax is a good option, 18 years old. Amari Kellerman, an English striker or winger, made probably a striker at Aston Villa. Karim Kanate is great at Salzburg. They just keep pumping out brilliant strikers. And we'll go to another one that I really like in this year's game when we look at our focus or my focus ones. Junior Krupi, this could have been a focus striker for me. He has insane potential ability, but you are going to need to foster it out of him. His current ability at the start of the game isn't particularly high, but he could develop massively. So if you want to foster that in your own save, go for it. Lamine Yamal, we made a whole video all about him. We know what he's like. 15 years old. He is the best wonder kid in the game. I've not chosen him because we've done a whole video on him, but what a player he becomes, a just genuine world beater. Jovan Milosevic at Stuttgart, 17 years old. Marko Milovanovic at Almeria in their B team is a good option. He is Serbian, Serbian striker. Afonso Moreira at Sporting. He starts in their B team and is a good winger. Um, a good Portuguese winger in the mould of Ronaldo, if you like. Ernest Nuama at Lyon is a good youngster. Antonio Nusa, a lot of hype around him in real life, actually. Could potentially make that big move, I think, in the next couple of years. Ethan Noaniri at Arsenal. A lot of Arsenal fans will be looking for him in this list, I expect. Gift Orban, another that's linked with some real life Premier League moves. He's 20 years old, but I wanted to include him because I think we will see him make that move at some point in the future, not too far away. Sergei Pinyev is a winger starting at Lokomotiv Moscow. Ruben van Bommel, notable because he is the son of Mark van Bommel, 18-year-old winger at AZ Alkmaar. 
Jason Van Doeven at PSV is a striker that you can sign for quite cheap. Alejo Velez has just moved to Tottenham, but was a bit of a wonder kid last year as well. Does become a genuine world beater in the game, but again, maybe a bit more difficult to sign because he's at Spurs now. And then finally, Rory Wilson at Aston Villa, another homegrown option. He is Scottish. And again, at Aston Villa, they've got a few good youngsters actually in this year's game. Those are my strikers, excluding my chosen three. Let's have a look at my chosen three, 10 years into the future. And here are my chosen three then now back in 2034. First of which, a player that starts off in at Palmeiras alongside Endrick is Luis Guillerme. He has gone to Napoli in this save and just have a look at him as a striker. Incredible physicals, really, really quick, 16 acceleration, 17 pace. Decent enough finishing, but great passing, really good vision, determination. Can play in behind the striker, could play out wide. It's just a really great player. Imagine pairing him with Endrick, something that I kind of want to go and do now. Left footed as well, so you might use him off this right hand side, inverted or inside forwards, I think would make for a really good option. He's done quite well on this save as well, played loads of games after moving just 13.5 million pounds that might even be a release clause Luis Guillerme is my first chosen one I really like the look of him and has got a really high potential ability alongside him I've gone for another Brazilian called Esteval Esteval again starts at Palmeiras I just what's happened at Palmeiras to produce all of these players all at once he has gone in this save he's ended up at Spurs after well he's moved to Spurs on a free which maybe look out for five or so years in, hasn't really developed as much as I think he can do. His potential ability is massively high as well. Spurs got him on a lovely free transfer and he's kind of developed. He's another one that could maybe play in behind the strikers or from this right-hand side. You could play him as a striker too, but his finishing's a little bit low here. I think it might develop more. If, he, if you buy him early, you can turn him into a genuine will beater, I think. He's already turned into a good player here, but I think you could do better with him. And then finally, my last chosen striker is Shaquille Van Persie. He's actually gone to Napoli. He's actually ended up at Napoli as well in this save alongside it was Luis Guayerme who's ended up there before. But Shaquille Van Persie is a Manchester City player in this one now on loan at Napoli. And he is, yes, the son of Robin Van Persie. Six foot two left footed striker. He is basically a Robin Van Persie regen. And I think you could actually develop him even more than this. He starts off the game at 16 years old at... Feyenoord, you can buy him, I think, a lot cheaper than Bayern bought him for here for 28.5. If you get him early and play this guy, I think you can turn him into a top, top striker and recreate Robin Van Persie even better than this. Those are my chosen strikers. That is my Wonder Kids list of 100 Wonder Kids in FM24. I really do hope this is useful for you. You see one or two that you might want to pick up in your saves, depending where you know, what country you're playing in, what leagues you're playing in. There might be some that you're like, I need to get them now. They're homegrown here. Hopefully it's helpful. If you want to get the shortlist, I'm going to put them all on my Patreon page, which is the Claytreon. The link to that is in the description of today's video. It will be up there along with things like the save files of all of the saves that I play, the tactics that I use, as well as all of the views and all of the nice little add-ons that you might want to have in the game. It is hopefully worth it. You also get your name at the end of the video, just like these guys here. Most importantly, though, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.